When you when you say, well, why don't we do like these communities? Understand that context matters, background matters, all of that stuff matters. It's not just vague. Oh, look at this community. Look at that community. Okay, you have to understand. Even if I look at other immigrant groups, one is that they don't deal with anti-blackness or Afrophobia. They don't deal with Afrophobia and. I'm going to start using the word Afrophobia because that's what it is. It's against African people, against Africa and the diaspora. When you have a country that's Afrophobic, like the US, and American society being Afrophobic in general, yes, immigrants come over here and they do better for a multitude of reasons. One, they are immigrants, okay? So they just got here. You have to factor in that. One, people say, uh, two, people say the immigrant work ethic. You could say that, but that that that's used to say why black Americans can't get far ahead when the reality of it is, is that the system was not structured to be hostile towards non-African immigrants or non-African people. It wasn't structured that way. Even when we looked at Malcolm X and Elijah Muhammad, what they were saying about other communities is... That was decades ago, and we're still talking about it. So not understanding that this stuff has been systematic and not looking at the Afrophobia, I think, is a huge problem. Because you're talking about groups that don't have the same background, don't have the same history. Yes, they may have faced discrimination. Yes, that's accurate. But at the end of the day, there is a racial hierarchy in America. And... Afrophobia is the top of it. And black people, African people are at the bottom. Let me give an example of using what you were talking about with the North Korean defector. But it just in a in a different context. Let's say you have um a black family and a white family. And well, I say a black couple and a white couple. And the white couple has a child and the black couple has a child. But the context and the the culture in that white family is okay. Once the child is born, it's like we're off to the races. Like if you were to look at it from the timeline, the races just starting when you're born, right? But this child knows and the parents know that you're going to become an adult. So we got to prepare for your adulthood. And then even when you become an adult, you have to spend the majority of that working adult life preparing for your retirement. Now compare that to a black kid that's raised by black parents and they don't teach them none of that shit. It's just go get a job and be happy. Don't you think that the welcomes are going to come out are going to be dramatically different? Don't you think that the moves that that person makes throughout their life is a different? And what is that based on? The context in which they grew up in. Most people don't think about retirement when they work. When you're 20 years old, you're not thinking about, oh, let me get my 401k and my stock options and this and all that. There's no sense of urgency about your retirement. Unless you come from a, a, a situation or you come from people where they can drill that into you and say, hey, you got to prepare for this. And if you, you have somebody bend in your ear, but the average person, when you're in the prime of your life, you're not thinking about, um, let me amass as much money as I can so that when I retire, I'll be able to live comfortably. Nobody's thinking about that shit. So it's the same thing. It's like, how can you do what you don't know? How can you make certain moves that, that, that make sense when you don't even know the full context of what you're even dealing with? And a properly functional culture would take care of that, but we don't have that. It's like, it just amazes to me, like how black folks talk about being American and talk about power 
and talk about this and talk about that but don't do it in practice like in hip-hop they love talking about the mob but they don't act like the mob they love talking about the mafia and john Gotti and this and that but they don't arrange the, their crime the same way that the mafia does it's just interesting to me it's like we we worship this stuff and we say we respect it but we don't put it into our lives and practice the things that we say that we respect so much i mean because the first thing that you have to do is you have to understand you have to know what that looks like once i know what it looks like i'm able to navigate i'm able to strive for it because i know what it looks like it, it's similar to a job uh, a, a, a college grad like me when i go into the workforce i know some good stuff about civil engineering but i'm not an expert i haven't been doing this for 20 years i haven't been in the workforce i don't know what it looks like once i've done a project and i look i i know what it looks like in a in a project i have the general conception and now i'm able to actually act like it actually able to do it because i know what it looks like okay I know this is how you do uh, a project. This is how much it's going to cost. This is, this is, these are the steps. I know what it looks like so I can do it. If you don't know what it looks like, you're going based off of what you perceive or what you think, not what you actually know. You think this is how the mafia is like or, or the mob or whatever. And that's not actually how they are. 